Hello everyone, we're the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. I really have to take a shit. That's when, and today we're talking about the recent Apple TV release, Cha Cha Real Smooth, starring Cooper, what's his last name, Rife? Rafe. Rafe? Rafe. Rafe. Eh, Rafe? I think Rafe. Dakota Johnson, and it is written and directed by all, uh, Cooper Rafe. Um, so. And produced. Yes. This follows a kind of coming not coming of age just out of college i mean that's what they do call it doesn't doesn't yeah know what he's doing with his life and he kind of strikes up a relationship with a mother and her autistic daughter i love this movie when yeah why because it's so good why because that's me is it i don't know kind of <laughs> I like to think that I could pull to Dakota Johnson. <laughs> yeah, but you're not nice to autistic kids. I've seen you punch little autistic kids. <laughs> All right, cut that out. Yeah, but uh, wins a piece of shit. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> so, I'm so out of pocket. <laughs> you don't know how to DJ or dance, and you're not Jewish. I can kind of dance. <laughs> I'm not Jewish. You're right. <laughs> I can't grow a beard. <laughs> so I can never pull Dakota Johnson. You're right. Yeah. But Jason and you have did and our friend. They weren't dating. Who was dating? No, it was Casey Affleck. Yeah, it was Casey Affleck. Damn it. They were just friends. Maybe they could were be just friends, friends with Dakota Johnson. I could be friends with Dakota Johnson. Yeah, and there you go. He kind of looks like a... Fifty Shades of Grey friend. We're just looking at the golden shot. <laughs> we can't get anything done today. I love this movie. I love her voice. I love this movie. I don't. You keep throwing the train <laughs> off the rails. I just want to talk I'm about sorry. this movie. Uh, we're all tired. I'm tired. He's I'm not tired. tired. I tired. really want to watch bad. talk about this movie. I want to know why you didn't like Cha Cha Real Smooth. Tell me. I Tell don't me. No, I don't get the. Uh, he. I don't like the fact that he's like somewhat flawless. And. Okay. I, I don't like the. Again, I, I hate this sort of logic uh, in movies where it's like, oh, look at this. There's this nice guy and his uh, girlfriend is cheating on him. Come on. That's horrendous. Like, not all guys are like, oh, he's a nice guy, and I'm going to cheat. Not all relationships like that. I don't think so, at least. Yeah, but you're not a nice guy, though. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, half have cheated on me. Shut up. <laughs> it's been. not as uncommon as you think. <laughs> it is kind of uncommon. Uh, it probably is. We just we just suck at picking women. <laughs> See, why couldn't you connect with this? Look, because he doesn't suck at picking women. He, put, he picked Dakota Johnson. Yeah, but did you see who she was married to? I guess he's a lawyer. He's got money. Yeah, he's got money. I'd pick Cooper over that dude any day. I would pick that dude. Nah. I see. Listen, I the reason why I would do that is because I see a future with him. I see us growing old and just driving in our Porsche. And I see us... <laughs> Just like arguing and all that shit and all the makeup sex. So you're Dakota Johnson. Yes. <laughs> so what I'm and hearing. And I have commitment issues. What so. I'm hearing is we should remake this movie. I'll be Cooper's character and you be Dakota Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when? What the f <laughs> So you should like this movie. You just, you can't connect because you like the villain of the movie. I, yeah, a little bit. This and I bitch don't like, ripped his heart out. <laughs> and also, in all fairness, I really don't like that mentality where it's like, um, uh, you're looking at other guys, and there's this one dude who's just like working real hard to get like the family going or whatever. So deep water. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I I love that one was just funky because like I'm pretty sure they're supposed to have an open relationship. Mm -hmm. But how like, do you know she does? <laughs> Because I know she doesn't. <laughs> nah, I don't know. It was never explicitly said. And what was it? it? Her her husband came up to him and was like, "Hey, thanks." But it was also never explicitly said that they were. You're right. Yeah. See. But he the knows. Flaws. He knows what she's doing. No, I don't think a lawyer like that would be okay. 
Come but on. she knows what she's doing. Uh, I don't know why it's so uninteresting to me. I, I I think that's it. I honestly get that it's not it's not for everyone. I'll say that. Cause I, well, the reason why I'm like really torn about this movie is because I you know that Seventeen again. I think that's what it's called. No. Yeah. No, not that one. Zac Efron. No. Matthew uh, Perry. What was her name? Haley Steinfeld. That one movie with uh, Woody Harrelson. Edge of Seventeen. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I like that one too. That to me made more sense than this movie. Yeah, but it's kind of different. I mean, story. I don't know. I think I think the. I mean, I get it. it's like still coming of age, and but it, I don't know. That's what they. Uh, that's what they advertise it as, a coming of age well, adult yeah, it is. hood kind of thing, and it's like. And. I don't know. He seems like a smart kid, and he's doing all this shit, and it's like, yeah, I don't. I'm disinterested, almost immediately. I don't know if you're smart. He um, is. He is me. Yeah, is he? Yeah, but he doesn't have the charm. You don't have the charm that I he don't. does, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has that, like... I like to think I do. He has that, like, dorky, nerdy charm that's, like... If you break the shell of, like, talking to me, then yeah. But, uh, like, otherwise, I don't honestly want to talk to you. I hate people. <laughs> well, the thing about Will is that, like, he was a jock in high school, so he doesn't not. really have that charm. Yeah, you were. Come oh, on. my God. You, ha- you were a football player. You had a girl where you were. Your jersey and everything. <laughs> like freshman and sophomore year and the last two years <laughs> sucked. Fair enough. You were transitioning from, yeah. a, from a jock to a dork. So Yeah. I was already from a piece of shit to a decent human being. I don't know about decent. <laughs> semi decent. <laughs> I'd give myself semi decent. Don't take that one away from me. I'm just shooting I'm just shooting at you right now. No, it's okay. <laughs> Action shot. Okay. This needs to go away. <laughs> That's what's been distracting me. I'm not going to lie. Just seeing Dakota Johnson? No, it's just the movie itself. It's okay. like, talk. Let me look at the camera. I'm not going to break contact. Shit happens. He kind of looks more like a computer engineer now that I think about it. <laughs> He looks like he works in the yeah, lab. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I guess astute observation one. Very nice. He looks like a mix of between the two Matthews that we know. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I see that. <laughs> um, so, when what did you think about Cha-Cha Real Smooth? It was real smooth. <laughs> it was real smooth? I think he did a good job. Cooper uh, uh, Rafe, Rife. I think he did an excellent job doing uh, the writing, the directing, um and the acting in it. Well, mm-hmm. Acting is, you know, whatever. Um, was great. It was fine. Dakota Johnson. Uh, I felt really authentic. Um, yes. Honestly, it, it, it really carries on the vision that he had for this movie. But I really hate that, like, that, like, love affair that he had with his ex-girlfriend. And Dakota Johnson is so weird That's to me. That's not his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> whatever. I've been there. This can, is just can, some chick. I can see myself. No, I thought they were. Uh, no, no, they no. were dating. Yes, no, they were. No, they weren't. No, no. no. Yeah, they were. Cause he, no. Yeah, because he was like, I don't even know if we're together anymore. I no, think, you know, that's the girl that left him. Well, either way, I was in that situation. So I relate to that more than she, he, you do. Pog. All right. This is so much more relatable than I realized. See? It's so good. But it doesn't mean it's good. Just it because it's relatable doesn't mean it's good. It can be I mean, good to you, though. No, no, it can't. Yes, it can. No, it's so lame. It's, it's like how I related to Minions. Because the thing is, like, we never really know how he's feeling the entire movie. <laughs> yes, we do. No, we don't. He's he like... He has his talks with his mom. Yeah, and we get, like, one or two scenes of that, and that's it. Okay, no, we're... I don't know. Maybe I was just connecting like, think of with it. this character overly, so I was just assuming. But that's why it I got really it to your head. That's got, why. And that's why I think it it's a good it to movie. Your head. Dakota Johnson's voice. Got he's got, got that ability head. if he's connecting with the audience. It's not his ability. It's Dakota Johnson. I. She's great. Love her. But she didn't like make the movie for me. Dakota Johnson should make like a hot dog company called Dakota Johnson's Johnson. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> when? Yeah. What all other notes do you have? <laughs> Production value. Uh, not so great. It was like a really, like, it was a 
mixed set of production values in this movie. There were times where I kind of forgave it, where it was like, oh, it's, you know, it's a bar mitzvah or whatever, and not everyone's going to have the same setup, and not everyone's going to have the same lighting and all that stuff, but uh, through, in between scenes, it just, it, it didn't roll smoothly. You could just tell how, like, it just dips and then rises and dips, so... I I like this movie a lot, and I don't know why. I do know why. I connect with the story. Um, I would recommend this to, I don't know, anyone, everyone. Go watch Cha Cha Real Smooth. I feel like a dozen people are just going to be like, it's really boring. There's nothing that happens in the movie. That's it's fine. True. There's really nothing that happens in the movie. Nothing it's happens just... in, like, Lady Bird either, but it's still a good movie. Uh, uh, I didn't finish watching the movie. It reminds me of my sister. The, but what what story do you need? I'm confused. I think it's just the fact that like there's the the character is just one dimensional. I mean, he can be as interesting into like whatever he's into all you want. He can be, but he's just I don't know. He doesn't do it for you. He just doesn't do like a. He doesn't feel like a regular person. He feels like a weird. Uh, it's a movie book character. He doesn't make any mistakes. He doesn't uh, feel bad for the husband or anything like that. It's a movie. So? He can be... He could have a freaking unicorn horn. It's a movie. But it's not related to the movie. He can be as outlandish or out outgoing as possible. It's a movie. But it's not related to the movie. What are you talking about? You're saying he's... He's supposed to be like this desperate... You know, this desperate guy who's like, oh, I need to figure out my future. I need to do what I, uh, I need to do uh, something after going to college and all this mm-hmm. stuff. I need to figure shit out. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't have any flaws where he's, it's like, obviously. No, his flaw is he's going for this married woman. <laughs> like, that's not a flaw. Yes, it is. No, he didn't know that. Yes, at he did. first, but then he oh, still at does. first. Oh, that's storytelling! Because he cared about the child. at first. Okay, first of all, in the movie, he did. Uh, he started with caring about the child, and mm-hmm. then the mom. Mm-hmm. And then he got more attached to the child. And then he started caring more about the mom. And then they started taking care of each other. Then he found out that he, uh, she had a husband. Mm-hmm. And then he kept going. But he wasn't trying to be like, oh, I'm going to s- try to steal this woman from him. She was the leading person. Yeah, but he was into it. But she was the leading person. And this, gosh, she, he, they, they are both at fault. Oh man, you need to reserve more relationships. <laughs> You're right. Can you get in a relationship right now? No. no. Well, just shut up, you. <laughs> Playboy. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Blake. This kid plays so many girls. Like he's you're a piece of shit. So what? He's he's no. He's outreaching. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Quinn. I will say my um, motivation to do this video is close to none at the moment. <laughs> That's fine. Let's get to our ratings. Yeah. Win. Would you recommend this movie? If you're having sex, sure. I would. You should watch the whole thing and enjoy it if you're going through some shit. Do you really All right. want to watch Apple Cha-cha TV Cha-cha Plus, real though? smooth. I mean, you're paying like 10 bucks Win. for like a few other It's five shit. bucks. And some of them aren't even One out of it. 10. Critical you're rating. Five bucks? How do you pay five bucks? I, I have an iPhone, I think. I don't know. Critical payment. Well, I pay five bucks for it. Critical review inter, uh, rating. Go. One out of 10. One being the worst, uh, 10 being the best. Ah, uh, five and a half. Uh, I'm going to give it an eight. The when? five part is Dakota Johnson, and the half <laughs> is the directing. Entertainment value. What do you say? Six. Yeah. Fair. I'm going to give it a ten. The five is Dakota Johnson. The one is... A movie that can make me cry gives me a ten. Anyways, we've been the continuity crew. I'm Will. It's definitely... That's when. Thank y'all for Isn't watching. Virgin? I believe so. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> We love movies, we love y'all, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.